Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the JF17 Thunder. It is January 2021. We've got a new addition to the air-to-ground radar. It is the basic terrain avoidance mode. Very simple, very easy to use, but pretty effective. So, air-to-ground mode first of all, and puts our air-to-ground radar on. By default, we are on map mode. So we're gonna click on the map mode there and get that button there. We've got map, ground moving target, C1, C2, beacon, WA and TA. TA, terrain avoidance, click that there. What that does is it firstly locks the radar in terms of elevation to essentially the horizon. So we're looking directly at the horizon. As far as controls, we don't have a lot. Our range is locked to 10 miles, so we are there. 10 miles is there and we cannot adjust that. We can change the refresh rate by changing the azimuth. Currently at 30 degrees, we can go to 15 degrees, half the azimuth, and if we unpause just to make it a bit clearer, half the azimuth, but twice the refresh rate. Okay, let's go back to 30 degrees for full coverage. We can see our airspeed casts there, our heading there, currently magnetic, and our barometric altitude there. Now this kind of system isn't really designed for kind of sweeping through canyons IFR but we're going to kind of sort of do it anyway because it's very cool so we lock in position there we've got our radar altimeter there which is what we need obviously barometric altitude is no use we're going to unpause we're going to navigate this canyon the higher we go the further we'll be able to see inside the canyon because like I said that radar is just locking onto the horizon now the lower we go the less far we will see in terms of symbology obviously black is, is space it's clear yellow warning red critical i.e the terrain is at our level or above us see because we're high enough we can see right the way down this canyon because it's not that steep all the way to 10 miles if you get into some very tight corners then what I'll suggest is going to 15 degrees which is going to increase your refresh rate that is all we've got to show really useful works really well and it's really simple anything to add to that RC nope I hope you enjoyed that and see you later